Gundar reading this situation, knowing that he Conquer had to pull out that gun, and Gundar just really played it smart there. He, he, most players would have tried to like back Switching down sides. and maybe run away, but that was a really smart play by him, getting the kill Search and, and making sure his team got the leg up on the riot shield. Oh yeah, most definitely. You see Embo is with the M8 here, the and the MMS, very... I, I, you know, oh, I still like bomb. to see people using this. I'm glad they never banned it because it does play a huge factor, especially with the smoke and just seeing through these buildings. This theory is able to pick up one person, DZ, going down, making it a 4v3 right now. As we're seeing everyone on termination, it looks like. But one person is going to be chaotic right here as he's putting fire into Embo's. See him going back and forth there. So. <laughs> They also got a two-piece, but then it, uh, there it is, a 2v1 now. Embos and Sharp up against Chaotic. Chaotic last alive for his team. Does get a kill, though, onto Embos. Now searching for Sharp. And Sharp, I think, is planting the bomb, and that's exactly what he's doing onto that B-bomb. Uh, I'm really interested to see what Chaotic's going to do when he pulls out the Sniper. This is going to be such an intense matchup if they're going to meet. Sharp posted up on that laundry, and Chaotic's going to the bottom red. Who do you think this is going to pan out for? Well, I think one good thing, though, is with Chaotic has in the, having this MMS on the M8 right here, he's able to possibly see him in the wall and going to see if... Actually, he's going to be... Uh, Sharp's actually going to start to rotate over here and just kind of check in back of laundry and kitchen. And they're going to meet here in just a few seconds, and it looks oh, like he's going to take him out. 3-1 for VVV. Looking very good for them right now, but I've seen a lot of comebacks. But hopefully, you know, VVV is doing very well right here as he's able to just... Barely get this two piece right here, or sorry, two shot into him and able to take out Chaotic there. But good plays from VVV as they're able to get that victory. Oh, absolutely. Now VVV up 3 1. Termination's going to have to try to make some sort of a comeback here. So I really want to hop onto one of their members. Ooh, this is interesting. They have three. They have four SMGs. Am I seeing this correctly? We are seeing this correctly because we're going to see a hard push to be. And we have the bomb is still over here oh, in mid shit. with the riot shield. So we're going to see a, 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 I think there's going to be a little bit of a different play from termination as DZ is going to go ahead and take out three. Gunjar is taking out Gozo and he's getting the two piece there, but he's going to take him out, get taken out there. But way to go as we're going to see Gunjar with the bomb. Man, it keeps going back and forth. Two v one embos. And it looks like DZ is going to be on a two kill streak right here. He's going to try to take him out. Yes, he does. Chaotic. This is very Good weird job. though. You get see an right SMG versus round. an AR, but the SMG is a win right there. Well, I mean, that was just how Chaotic played this. He went prone, just popped up a little, knew he was looking at him, got a natural head glitch with that rock and jump shot. So he just had the upper hand. And anyways, DZ would have probably finished off that kill. But that was really I've interesting. I've never really seen four subs on one raid search, search and destroy, and they really just ran out there. If VVV had, a, like, an AR Clear just peeked out of laundry, if they had, like, two guys there, Charges they could have easily shut down that rush. But, I mean... Great job by Team Termination, realizing what VVV was doing and adapting to the situation. You can see Sharp getting the first kill on Gozo there, and DZ's gonna go ahead and take out Theory, making it a 3v3 right now. DZ's on a three kill streak right now. He's got the dual band sniper looking down the middle part of this alley right here, and you're gonna see the bomb is possibly gonna be planted here in just a few. Maybe no, he's gonna go ahead and start to push into him, and we're gonna see two people meet yet again. Sharp's gonna go ahead. And, no, they're gonna switch. Uh, this is the only thing that I hate about seeing this map is we're seeing players. But Sharp's gonna take him out there with the one burst, coming down to a 1v2 for Sharp. We're gonna see what happens. Chaotic and DZ are on a three kill streak right here, getting close to their. Streaks. Their RC car going to be coming a big plays if they're possibly to be able to pick that one up. Who do you think? You think Sharp's going to possibly get this one, or do you think that Kadok and DC are actually going to get this one? I think if Sharp is able to pick one off and get some cover, he's, he's going to be able to win to it. But right now, Cha Chaotic and DZ are just playing it really well. They're really just sticking to each other's side. They spotted Sharp now. It's basically all over if DZ is able to get this kill. Oh, but he is taken out by Sharp through a wall. He was actually behind cover there. Sharp getting a little lucky with that lag comp. He is going to have to plant this bomb, and he does realize this. Let's see if Chaotic's going to push him or just wait. Chaotic does actually just wait with that MMS. He's going to be going bottom planted. red. And oh, does get taken out Sharp with a 1v3 going so huge for VVV there as he just, oh my gosh, he just dominated that. I, I don't know how DZ and Chaotic just lost that. They spotted him. They should have played it more passively. You never want to, like, be aggressive with a B2-3 in that situation. They had sides. two up. But that was just an insane 1v3 clutch by Sharp. Search oh yeah, most destroy. definitely. And one thing I want you to realize is if you look at that scoreboard, Sharp, 10 and 3. Two oh my god. He's objectives. got almost 1,500 score right now. He's just completely backpacking this team right now. Big plays from them as we're going to start to see some... It's going to look like... 
Chaotic is going to try to push over here to the A-bomb. They're going ahead and just forget the oh! oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but Imbo just got the nastiest turn on on DZ ever. <laughs> DZ had a submachine gun. Imbo's had an AR. He was rushing out of that kitchen area and literally just turned on DZ. I don't know how we saw Good him, job. but he just absolutely round. dominated him right there. And VVV goes up 5-2. This is going to be... This is looking terrible for him. Yeah, it's definitely not looking good. Termination, I thought they were, I, I honestly still think that they still have a chance, but I just think it's just the fact that Sharp is just playing so well right now that it, the chemistry for his team is just like, whoa, look at me. I got all these kills around 10 and 3, but you guys are going to have to step it up a little bit. But Sharp is just doing so well right now. I'm just, it's Destroy very good plays. I mean, we're going to see who, we got I'm kind of curious where they're going to go with this one. I, I really am. I, I have a feeling that you're going to still continue to go to B. And try to get a plan, but it just doesn't seem like well, Conker's able to get a snipe right there off of Goonjar. And DZ getting a, a kill right there on theory. And it looks like Imbo's gonna go ahead and take him out. Oh my gosh, it looks like he fell there. Get the quick scope. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're seeing oh. fails by Chaotic there. Oh, no, what's no. happening here? We're filling all over the place. And Sharp takes him out, picks up his 11th kill there. Sharp's on a five kill streak with the bomb. Gonna go ahead and get the bomb plant here too. Man, he's just doing so George well right set. now. Three bomb plants, 11 kills? How that, done. That, was actually, that was actually hilarious right there. Embos, and I believe that was Chaotic just failing all over. And Sharp almost taking himself out, but he does realize where both players are. One in B course, one in that money room. Sharp's going to be using this lightning strike, and it is game over. Oh my god, Sharp dropping 13 kills. Oh my god, MVP right now. We had at Fear Moho last night was the MVP of that one map we got to play. And Sharp is just taking over. Good plays as VVV is going to go up 2-0 in this best of seven. Mission oh, man. failed. 6-2. BBV up. This is going to be looking like it's going to be a flawless sweep by BBV, never dropping a map. Termination just needs to win this next CTF, maybe get back in their groove, and then that's how they're going to be able to come back. Absolutely huge, guys. <laughs> Fantastic casting. Forget about these two teams, guys. Great job on the casting. Uh, VVV, uh, however, going up 2-0 there on Termination. So let's see if Term can actually put something together here this next map, guys. But we do appreciate all the support. Uh, well, please help us out. Let's tweet this out. Let's get some more viewers in here, especially show some support to these casters, most definitely, guys. Uh, we're going to be giving a hand handful of giveaways, Microsoft points, and if we can hit that 400 mark, we will be giving away a pair of Gamer's Edge gaming glasses tonight after the show, guys. So, uh, but Putrid, man, you guys are doing absolutely fantastic, and this is what we do, guys. We bring uh, casters on the show, you know, up-and-coming casters that are looking to jump on the show, uh, and just for a little bit of, uh, you know, airtime, hit us up, guys. We'll definitely bring you guys on. Um, and this is what we're doing, Murph. You know that. Uh, but that's absolutely that's huge. I love what you guys do, man. I love doing it because you guys on this match. casting is just something that's fun. I mean, and you get better from actually casting matches. And it's just something to do. Like, Call of Duty at this time, like, during the year, it's relatively boring when there's it's just after a major event. There's nothing really going on. Ghost is around the corner. So casting is really just keeping that up. These show matches are definitely getting viewers more interested and not just quitting COD for the time being. Oh yeah, most definitely. And it's fun to be able to cast over these uh, these good teams like this. I mean, it's sometimes it's it's kind of difficult to cast over lopsided games but you know even though termination is losing they're at least making it a challenge for vvv they really are the hard points show up perfectly uh ctf we're gonna see how it plays out for them uh, i possibly they can make it to where it's a 2v1 who knows uh but definitely good plays from both teams as they're doing very well and they're making this cast a little bit easier for me because i just don't like the cast over lopsided games like i love to see these close matchups it makes it a lot more fun a lot more interesting a lot more intense to get everything pumped up but you're right though after matches like this or after mlg anaheim everything's dead i mean most <laughs> of these teams are going to be practicing for UMG, umg atlanta and then the teams that are actually able to go to gfinity that were invited congrats to them um but you know we're just too far away, and I'm ready to see some more events like UMG's doing, and maybe possibly some more to where it keeps most people interested in the Call of Duty. Oh, absolutely. And uh, one thing is, did you see what Benson tweeted out? He tweeted out a link from MLG that said they're going to be working on hosting smaller events kind of like UMG, and I'm really excited to see those because that just means more events, and that's going to be interesting. 
Oh yeah, definitely too, especially for a caster standpoint, because Mr. Bishop able to go down to Atlanta, that might free up some uh free up some spots for me and uh, Mr. Orange over here. Maybe get our <laughs> chance to get on the cast on the big stage. That'd be pretty sweet though. I'd love to do it. I mean, all the people that I know that I've been casting with and people that I've known from the start of this casting, um, it's been great to see all these yeah, casters go pretty far. Hopefully one day oh, I can get up to that yeah. point too. I mean, it's really cool to see like Taylor, like I said last night, props to him, they're able to get to <laughs> cast with Golden Boy. That's going to be a fantastic experience. We're about to get this thing underway. Who do you want to hop on board with on the CTF? Mm, let me see these the classes objectives. right now. Termination right now. Do you have the worst side? Conqueror still rocking that Warthog. Not sure if I agree with that, but he's able to get a nice kill on Imbos there. Shark going, firing back, and VVV is up right now. 3-2 in this situation. But <laughs> this is just back and forth. Trying to get control of the map. It looks like Termination does have it. Let's see if VVV is going to be able to break it right off here. And let's hop on to Goonjar because I believe he's running... I have no idea what class he's running, but he's doing work with that MA. Can he get the two PCS? Yes, he does. Oh, free firing with that B23, getting a little greedy there. This is going to be interesting to see if VVV can get control of this, and there it is. That is control right now. This looks like it's going to be a cap if they play their cards right. Oh yeah, most definitely. You're gonna see three players down, four players down. Now it's gonna hop back up. Five kill streak. He's in the spawn trap right now. Get He's going ham right now. As it looks like he's gonna be another one. Yes, it's gonna be another one. Seven kill streak. He's getting the hellstorm. Is he gonna do it? No, he chose on this theory. Or sorry, I don't know who even took him out there. Chaotic was able to take out Gunjar. Very smart play by them. It's gonna be three. Now they're all back up. As theory is the only person down, and that, a smart cap there as they were able to actually conquer that one. Way to go, BVV, with it able to control that spawn perfectly. Oh, absolutely. Goonjar just going off right now with that MAA1. He's going to be trying to push to that spawn trap again. Oh, spots a player. That is Gozo. Does get that kill. He's going to searching to that left side for more players rushing him. And he is in position to make another cap if these VVE guys on the double Ds and blue side can get their kills. That will be a cap, but no, they can't. Conquer with a nice stop onto Imbos. That's all going to be left to Goonjar to try to get control back for his team and kill the flag carrier for Team Termination. Which he was able to go ahead and get that flag. And they're actually able to... Goonjar's on another four kill streak. And you want to recognize right now is this is 12 and 3. Oh, wow. He's able to get taken out. But Gozo getting a two-piece there. But good plays from Goonjar as he's doing very good work for his team as they're able to control this perfectly going up 1-0. But they definitely need to get two or three more captures on this side because we all know this is the best side to be on but I mean just good plays all around as Conker's on a four kill streak doing big plays for himself with that AN94 he's just trying to push over to the blue side and see if he can possibly get over here and one person gonna meet him possibly get his fifth six oh my gosh good plays from him though oh, wow and Conker right now just playing this really passively there are two players set up from VVV in blue spots one he kills the other Free firing the, the last one but that's termination three kills right off the bat they need control. I don't exactly know why Conker's not pushing up. There we go. He's going to be trying to search for these players outside of blue. They are definitely pushed up. They're so overextending right now, but they're getting the kills to do it. So if they can if they can all stay alive, they're definitely going to get this capture. Oh, yeah, most definitely. As you see, DC's trying to make his way to the back alley right now, seeing if he could possibly meet up. But oh, Imbos is going to come up behind him. He does not. Yes, he does see him. DC was oh. almost there, smart, and trying to get that. And now we're going to see that push by a DVD. They were able to take out two. Conker's still on a seven kill streak. He's trying to hold off just a little bit. He's trying to go ahead and get his Warthog. And then we're going to see one person. He takes out one. Eight kill streak. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying to do some big plays for his team to get this. Try to get a capture on the board as we're going to see two players from DVD going down. And then there, here he goes. Nine kill streak. Better recognized because he's making it big. It's 11 and 5. Maybe pick off another one. Gunjar is going to take out Embos. Well, don't know what's going on there. He's killing his own teammate. But that's okay. He's going to continue to do it. We're going to see. Very good plays from Conquer. I mean, I'm just excited for this kid. I want to see him break into the double digit kill streak. Oh, absolutely. I definitely want that Warthog to come out, and he is playing so smart right now. Required. Playing passively. He knows that this is just the first round. He has time to work for these score streaks. He is really just playing as safe as he can. Because if he gets this Warthog, it's going to be such a huge factor to preventing VVV from the win and getting those captures on the board. Spots one player outside of blue. Right hand, but does miss his shots, so he oh, does get taken man. out. Goonjar with a huge kill, 
probably doesn't realize how huge that kill just was, but that's gonna take it out as well. So termination is easy. He's gonna try to make something happen here. Oh, Imbos is with so him. Oh my God, getting the two piece there. Pulled out the pistols. That's sit down. I'm gonna go ahead and push into this spawn right here because it looks like it's gonna be three players down from.